What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten, and I'm dying. And it's good because you know it can help you with dying. Secure containment procedures. What the fuck is a secure yep, containment? Yep, that's what, that's what can help you. I, I, my name is Dr. Chavez from the foundation. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not... <laughs> that's my timer going off, so I'll be back. But enjoy this. Skitten was interested. Where do I start in the world of SCPs? <laughs> just like I felt. What is lost. an SCP? And... I decided to do a top 10 video, and she's gonna do a top 10. It's the same uh, the same idea. I don't know what an SCP is. I don't know. It sounds like STD. Okay. But, but I'm assuming it's not that. It, you know, it's funny. It's not anything that you think it is. That sounds like, uh, like rules that you follow to contain something, so. It's not what you think. I'm dying. I'm sick for the second time in a week. And uh, ready to have some fun! Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Che Arena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. You know what's most amazing is his hair. His hair is most amazing. Okay, I'll shut up now. SCPs are some of the best tall tales of the internet. For those of you who don't know, it's a communicative writing project with different people from all over the world adding to it. A list of creatures and objects with unique and terrifying abilities. SCP stands for Secure, Contain, Protect. The idea is that the SCP Foundation documents and catalogs every last one of these supernatural oddities oh. in an attempt to understand and protect us. Of course, these are all fictional or are they that's not for me to decide all i'm here for is bring you today's list of top 10 scary scps you wouldn't want to be real as always i would love it if you could like comment subscribe and hit the little notification bell and stick around for the whole video because i'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs if anyone at home needs some more most amazing top 10 content hit us up on instagram and if you're looking for some most amazing top 10 merch check out the link below use the offer code ma10 for five dollars so like I know we're supposed to be watching this video for the secure contain protect thingies but this man leans a lot like literally like count his leans like he's just like like every two seconds bro I'm just saying off, which means you can grab a shirt for like 10 bucks. That's a sweet deal. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have SCP-169. All right, we're going to be kicking off this list with a massive SCP. Like this thing could use the Empire State Building as a toothpick. It probably takes dumps the size of Kentucky. It's estimated that SCP-169 is somewhere between 2,000 and 8,000 kilometers long. And because of its massive size, it's impossible to lock this beast away in a proper containment cell. It can only be observed and studied. It is an ocean dwelling creature using the great depths of the ocean to hide from the public. The exact description of this SCP is unknown, but it's believed that it could have the whale of a body and possibly long tentacles like a squid. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Have you been, uh, have they been informing you on what's going on yet? Well, see, so what had happened was uh -huh. the man leaned a lot. Uh-huh. So I'm only on the first thing. He leaned a lot? Yeah, so like he was talking, right? Uh-huh. And he kept going like this. Uh-huh. Well, damn. Alrighty. But this thing, I don't know. What the I'm fuck? gonna trim all that down. Not like out. Just down. Yeah, I mean, you can trim it out. No, no, no. I want to see the lean. He Show leans so bleed. much. Show. All right, here we go. The biggest threat that this SCP brings to the table is the ability to affect tides, is this six, eight, and tsunamis nine? with just the... One, six, nine. Fuck. That was close. Flick. Also, apparently they don't know what this nigga looks like. Right. Play. Of its tail. If this thing trips and falls over, it could put an entire country underwater. For hey. now, everyone is safe. But just in case SCP-169 catches a cold and decides to sneeze, you might want to start moving inland. I have no idea who this guy is, by the way. This is... I don't know, but his hair is great and he leads a lot! Okay. The shadow creature. This SCP is a little hard to describe because it doesn't have a body. Think of it what? as living darkness. This SCP can't whack. be touched or tampered with, but it whack. can be contained. It's that just sounds whack. 
Sorry. Very hard. Living darkness. Why? Somebody was tripping when they did that. Hard to do research on because the SCP can't have samples removed from its form. It will not immediately kill anyone, but being within 10 meters of this SCP will cause drowsiness. If you are in the containment area with. So, what you're saying is. So wait, so what you're saying is when I can't sleep, I just need to find this nigga. But what do you mean SCPs you wouldn't want to be real and he's like, it won't kill you. Then what the, there's a whole list of shit that will kill you. Why is he on this list? For Sleepy? Record, for the record, you have me watching this like scary SCPs video that I just like looked over there and like the steam was rising oh, up in yeah, the shadow. Oh yeah, that's good. But that oh, shit yeah. looked like it was moving. Yeah, the TM is like, hot as fuck. So. I was like, broskies, the living darkness is here. Yeah, the T. You okay. can't. You probably can't see it steaming, huh? Uh, yeah, they can. See oh, a you can. Bit. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. yeah. So you see how fucking freaky that would be? That shit was moving in the darkness. I was dead. Yeah, that's With fucking creepy. SCP-808 for more than 30 minutes, you will pass heartbreak. out and immediately go into REM sleep. If you are not removed from the containment area quickly, then you will have long-term psychological damage. And number eight, we have that's, SCP. Nigga, that's whack. Nigga, I live with my parents and I have long-term psychological <laughs> damage, so. So this is nothing. So this is like going home so for the holidays. I just survived Thanksgiving. Next. P049, the classic <laughs> goth SCP. This guy looks like every goth kid's imaginary friend. The street name for this guy is the Plague Doctor. The Plague Doctor. As it looks exactly like a, a 15th century doctor with that long bird mask and those black robes. However, unlike a regular Plague Doctor who puts on that clothing, it's thought that the robes and mask of SCP-049 are actually part of its body. This guy is not a poser goth. He has been living this lifestyle more than anyone ever has. He was literally born a god. If you are unfortunate enough to be touched or touch SCP-049, then balloons will fall from the ceiling and you'll win the lotto jackpot 649. No, just kidding, you'll die instantly. Yeah, no yeah. questions asked. Once this thing has you dead and you're on the ground, it will open up its surgical bag and start to do a series of experiments on you, just like you're a frog in 10th grade biology class. Over several days. Technical difficulties. Uh, also, has like so in, in its surgical bag, it has like different vials and stuff. And over a couple days, it'll dismantle your body, rearrange your body parts, add on body parts. There's one guy where they put like a long tube. What do you mean add on body parts? There's one guy you put on my long tubular orifice in the middle of his chest. And then he reanimates you to fix the pestilence. I love this. This is my favorite SCP I've heard of. The Plague Doctor is lit. He is here to cure the pestilence, man. The pestilence is being cured. No, the pestilence is ongoing. You just don't know what it is yet. So what is the pestilence? Probably like the human form or the human condition. Probably. But he's not quite sure, sure on that. He just needs more test subjects. Give it to him. No. Give, give, give him all the test subjects. No. He's great. I love this guy. I like his It'll politics. take a few samples, then sew you back up, and then be on its way. Probably do a little hat tip. Like, oh. Something like that. At number seven, we have yes, SCP-023. This SCP would be really cute if it wasn't an SCP. Trust me on this one. Everything I'm going to describe to you about this SCP is great right up until we get to the SCP parts. So SCP-023 is a five foot tall, black, shaggy dog. Yeah, doesn't that sound like the cute. best? Cute. No. Five foot tall dog? No. Oh, five foot tall dog. Yeah. Holy shit. No, that, no. That's big. That's not cute. Okay. Best thing ever, a giant dog that you can play with and it's massive, like he's so big and so cute. Could you imagine cuddling that thing? It would be so big and fluffy, I wouldn't need to go to therapy anymore. But now I'm gonna hit you with ha. Ah. All the downsides. All SCPs have downsides, even the fluffy I wish that ones. was choreographed. I mean, but most it wasn't. of them are only downsides. This what? black shaggy dog. But I wish that was choreographed, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Has these big, <laughs> bright orange eyes, and if you look at this beautiful beast in the eyes, either you or family member will die in a year. But if you're really you, making a list of you, pros and cons, what? on one side you have death within a year from looking this thing in the eyes, or on the other side you have yet to pet a big fluffy dog. So you're basically breaking even, and it might not even be you that died. It might be one of your annoying cousins or something like that, because it also kills your family members. So that's fine. 
At number six, we have SCP-682. Okay. This man has some problems yeah. with his family. Yeah, for real. You could die within a year. I wouldn't miss you. You know, it's cool. It's Bro. chill. Dude, this SCP is a massive lizard creature that can spit acid and consume almost anything through nostril that glands. Anything Wait, that's it consumed cool. can be yeah, helped to regenerate its body, which makes this SCP nearly indestructible. Right. Al it also hates humanity. And it's really like angsty about it too. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It's fucking hilarious. They like talk to it and shit, and it's like all sassy and stuff. Like, like what I was just watched a thing called Sedation, where like the the doctor is like talking to the SCP. Yeah. And he's like, so what is it that you don't like about humans? He's like, you. You're what I don't like. He's like, can you be more specific? You guys are the muck of the earth. You're a plague. <laughs> and he's just like, so that's it. You have anything else to say? You know I don't want to do this either, right? It's, like, it's so fucking funny. So, then he ate a guy, like, right after that. Damn! Yeah, like, remember when you walked in to show me your makeup earlier today? Yes. Yeah, he ate a guy right after that. All right. Yep. For any attempts to destroy this SCP have not been effective. This SCP can communicate extremely well due to its high IQ. And for whatever reason, this SCP has a deep, dark hatred for anything that's alive. It's basically Doomsday from the Superman comics. It will kill a cute Disgusting. little bird just because it's there. SCP-682 has to be kept in a facility in the middle of nowhere in case it escapes. If it's able to go on a killing spree, it will start to consume all that organic matter and become more powerful than ever. At number five, we have SCP-053. Once again, we have another cute SCP that cannot be trusted. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these SCPs is just some dude's ex-girlfriend. It's like, dude, she's so crazy, I swear. <laughs> she keeps telling me that she That's loves me funny. and we've only been together for like three years. I'm creeped out. <laughs> this SCP is a little more scary than a girl just wanting to build a future with you. SCP-053 <laughs> is a little girl that seems harmless. Her exact age is unknown, but she seems to be about three years old. Her intelligence also seems to nope. be the same. Yeah. Children are yeah. Creepy. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Already no. going down the wrong path. No. I'm of a three-year-old girl. SCP-053 has similar interests to a young girl. It enjoys coloring books and board games, and it's important to keep SCP-053 occupied with these games. If you are stuck in close proximity to SCP-053, you will be unharmed for the first 10 minutes. After this point, you will start to experience symptoms of psychosis and start to receive homicidal thoughts. Right. If you attempt to Got harm SCP-053, you will drop dead immediately after attacking her. Any damage caused to SCP-053 will be healed from its regenerative abilities. And number four, we have nice. SCP-102. Now we're getting- That's not scary, that's just children. It's petty is what it is. I'm gonna make you want to hurt me, and then when you do, you die. Yeah. Do you like that? It's kind of messed up. Getting into the really weird stuff. This SCP isn't a girl or a dog or anything breathing. This SCP is a couple of townhouses. If you walk into these townhouses, <laughs> you would be dead before you know it, and I bet if they were in Toronto, their property value would still be over a million dollars. Uh, SCP-102 is broken down to two sections. SCP-102-1 is a condo that looks like a rundown building with the owner's dead body still in the rubble. Unless you disgusting. own a lease for the building, then it looks like a beautiful house. If you walk in, oh, you'll fall unconscious and become a ghost until the lease is up. I hope that part is in the contract. What? At least in the that's fine pretty good. Or something. If you what? enter the other yeah. building, SCP- Like it's cursed. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? <laughs> you, you go in there and die. That's kind of cool. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> 102-2, you'll be presumed dead and go missing immediately. But still, if the rent is below 600, I think I would risk it. At number three, we have SCP-017. The best way I can describe this SCP is a fart that can strike back. That's like when you fart in the shower and the steam intensifies it. Wait, what? This man has the weirdest list of S in it. You know, it's because I do like reaction stuff. Most of the time I'm in your seat where I'm like, I don't fucking get why this is a thing. Yeah. This is weird. But now that I've actually do, I've been doing it for like almost two weeks now, like straight every day SCP stuff. I'm like, why did you choose any of these SCPs to put on the... There are so many cooler things you could have put on the I'm list. I'm very confused. I know. This isn't explaining anything. None of these are, like, terrifying. None of them. I mean, the big water one is, like, terrifying. Okay. But I'm already afraid of whales, so I'm, like, not going to be more afraid of that thing. Right. Because I'm already terrified. Well, I, what I was afraid of is that what was going to happen is I was going to have you just be reacting to the same SCP stuff that I've already seen. Well, you this know? is definitely not anything that you've seen. And this is anything think. I've ever seen, so I'm just going to have you react to the stuff I've seen. <laughs> because this is not good introduction 
to the stuff. Go ahead with your nose. I'm good. I thought I was gonna sneeze, but I looked at a light. Cool. So let's finish this video because I like the guy. The list is just bad. Have you noticed the leaning? No, I'm not worried about the leaning. I like his hair though. But you can't escape or freak out because you'll slip and fall. This is like that, but you disappear entirely. Maybe to another dimension or maybe this thing eats you. I really have no idea. He's just not doing a good, like they're already vague to begin with. And he's just not doing a good, a good job explaining the creepy part. He's making kind of too many jokes. Because you're just not, he's just not getting to the point fast enough. And it just becomes like joke, 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 joke. Kind of what it does at the end. Next SCP. The curse of being funny. Word. SCP-017 is, is known as the shadow person. It's a shadowy figure that floats above the ground. It's oh, about shit. 80 centimeters tall <laughs> and somewhat resembles a child. That is a terrifying yeah. rendition. Yeah, that's pretty scary. What the? F and look, look, it's like behind him yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, I oh, fucking muted it. it. Look at this face. This is a hilarious face. Make that face. Oh, that shit's hot. No, you gotta tilt your, your lips down more at the court. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, there we go, sorry. He doesn't really do anything as long as it's not provoked. It will just float there and linger like a dog fart. Unless you cast a shadow on it. If any shadow comes in contact with this shadow figure, it will engulf whatever is casting the shadow, and it doesn't matter if this thing is a person <laughs> or an inanimate scary. object. This thing will then vaporize it just because it came in contact with that shadow, which is kind of unreasonable if you ask me. This Word. SCP is currently being contained, and it's You're kept tripping, in a glass dog. case in a room that tripping. is lit from both the floor and the ceiling. This way, no shadows can be casted upon it. Smart. This nigga said, oh, you looked at me. Oh, so you looking at me? You bumped me, nigga? Did you bump me? <laughs> and number two, we have SCP-122. This SCP is the biggest these. wolf in sheep's clothing I have ever seen. 122 is a nightlight. Yeah, dude, this thing okay. is a nightlight. Excuse me? I thought nightlights were meant to keep monsters away. This right. thing is like the Trojan horse sneaking monsters uh. right into your room. <laughs> well, SCP-122 is a nightlight that always needs to be hooked up oh, to a that's power supply. That's fucking freaky. I don't like that at all. Nope. Yeah. You have to see that. I'm going to close the door because it's dark out there. <laughs> That's not. Because we have dishes stacked there, so they're kind of like shining a little bit. Can I have some tea? From, yeah, man. It's hot, though. Don't burn yourself. Seriously. You put know. our hot tea in a metal cup. One, two, Why two, are you like that this? everyone within a 500 meter radius who is sleeping will go into a coma and remain in a coma until the power is returned to the nightlight. Yeah. Anyone that who is in hot. a coma caused by SCP-122 will have shadow of their bodies until the coma curse is broken. Excuse and for me? our number one spot, we have SCP-610. This looks this disgusting. SCP yeah, this, I just looked this one up earlier today. This no. is actually gross. This looks disgusting. It's, it's terrible. It's one of I the don't want to see this. Yeah, you can come across. <laughs> SCP-160. Okay. is a highly contagious disease that can spread through any organic material. If you are unfortunate enough to come in contact with this SCP, it's call over. your loved ones because you only have a few hours of life left. Upon first contact, you will have a small rash break out on your arms. It will get worse and spread to your chest until open sores appear all over your body. It there will you continue go. to That's consume the person until your skin is so badly damaged that you die. This process takes about five hours. After the disease kills you, you will then bounce back to life, a zombie with increased speed, strength, and Check the ability to to mutate your extremities. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, a bloodlust for killing innocent people. That is a very important part. All right, everyone. The plague doctor like talks to that thing too. What? The plague doctor talks to that SCP. And says what? I don't know, he wouldn't tell us. I watched the interview. He was like, you know, we're old friends. We talk. We're old friends. We're like, what the fuck, bro? What? Shouldn't he not like that because it's a pestilence? No, no, no. That's not the pestilence. That's an SCP. The SCPs are not a pestilence. That sounds like a pestilence to me. Well, that was a weird list. So... So 10 of the weirdest SCPs you wouldn't want to be real. Yeah. Not all of these were scary. Most of them weren't. Most of them were. So let's let's move on because there's more to do today. So just let me know what SCPs you guys talking about. <laughs> comments down below because this Good was point. not a great list. Good point. But I trust you guys and your recommendations, okay? So don't let me down, Hope Biscuits. Peace out. It's getting lit.